Hi guys, I'm here with yet another YouTube video. And today I'll be talking about the Kids' Choice Awards because the nominees have just recently been announced for 2016. That's right, the 29th Annual Kids' Choice Awards nominees have been announced. Now, going into a bit of background, I watch the Kids' Choice Awards often, yet lately I have been impressed. You see, that last one they had um, in 2015, I think, was pretty bad. For example, it was, well, they just didn't get the awards where they were needed, and stuff like that, yeah. But today, I'll be discussing what, what nominees there are, and my thoughts on what I want to win this, what's probably going to win this, and my thoughts on some of these movies in general. So this is pretty much an average review for me. So, we're starting off in the movies category with favorite movie. The nominees are Ant-Man, Avengers Age of Ultron, Cinderella, Daddy's Home, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, Jurassic World, Pitch Perfect 2, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, I haven't done many movie reviews for overall this year, or... In fact, I've seen plenty of them. Let's see, I've seen two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've seen five of these. Five of these eight. And where will, should this award go? Star Wars The Force Awakens. That's what I want to get it. Don't get me wrong, it's a bit of a, it's got its own set of flaws, I think, which I'll go into detail once I do a whole video on that. But, compared to some of the other movies out here, yeah, it's pretty good. Especially since I don't really like 2015 in film in general. I didn't think it was the best possible year we've had on there. Don't get me wrong, it has some of the best animated films for me, yet, or some decent animated films at least, but on the live action front, this year was not the strongest we have, we've had. Now, for what I think is going to get it. It's a toss up. I'll say that right now. Avengers has a pretty big shot, I think. Hunger Games has a good shot, Jurassic World has a good shot, and Star Wars. All four of those films have strong shots already. And that's pretty big, actually. Four big films are getting all their shots, despite me not really liking Jurassic World. So yeah, that's how I think favorite movie's gonna go. So, what about for favorite animated movie? We have Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip, Home, Hotel Transylvania 2, Inside Out, Minions, and the Peanuts movie. So, what will I be able to say here? I think this should hands down go to Inside Out, which is another film I will be doing an individual review on. Yet, I'm just going to say right now, it's my favorite film of the year. It's amazing if you haven't seen it. It has likable characters, a pretty good plot, and some great thoughts of ins what happens inside the mind. But we'll get the award. Quite frankly, I can say that, well, well, I think Inside Out will probably win. There are some other contenders. First of all, I haven't seen Minions yet. We can't count it out, actually. We really can't. Because what, Minions, Minions is the second highest grossing animated film of all time. Yes. I'm pretty sure about that. That's how popular the movie is. And I, I think we could count in shots that um, 
Hotel Transylvania 2, and the Peanuts movie will get into this cup. However, in my opinion, it's inside out for the win. Now we're moving on to favorite movie actor. Um, jo John Boyega, Finn from Star Wars The Force Awakens, Robert Downey Jr., um, Iron Man from Avengers Age of Ultron, Chris Evans, Captain America from Age of Ultron, Will Ferrell, from, uh, Brad Whitaker from Daddy's Home, Chris Hemsworth, um, Thor from Avengers, and Chris Pratt, Owen from Jurassic World. Oh my goodness, they have a big toss-up here. I can just state that right now. In fact, I'm going to have to say, first of all, I'm ruling Finn from Star Wars, John Boyega, out of it. I didn't think he was that great of an actor. And I'd be surprised if he won, compared to some of these people. Now, you've got three of the major actors from Avengers. And then you have Will Ferrell and Chris Pratt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bit of Jurassic World cards on the table. While I don't like the movie... I think Chris Pratt did well, and I say well. However, compared to Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, or Chris Hemsworth, I I'm going to say Chris Pratt um, is a no. Man, there's three Chris's in the favorite movie actor this year. Um, Will Ferrell, um, I haven't seen Daddy's Home, so I can't judge on that yet. But I think if Daddy's Home does well, he's very likely to be getting the, that award too. Because I know that people like him. And finally, Robert Downey Jr. That's my pick. For both. Because I think he's got a record of winning these too. So. But I might be, be um, Cowboy Bebop at my, compu at my computer on this one. So yeah, now, favorite movie actress, Lily James, Cinderella and Cinderella, Scarlett Johansson, Natasha, or Black Widow from Avengers, Anna Kendrick from Pitch Perfect 2, um, Jennifer Lawrence, The Hunger is Monkey J Part 2, Ridley, for, or Ray, Daisy Ridley, Ray from Star Wars, and Rebel Wilson from Pitch Perfect 2. Alright, so this is a very interesting thing, too, because I'm about to play another one of my controversial opinions. I don't think Jennifer Lawrence is that well as Katniss. In fact, I think she portrays Katniss kind of as a bit of a whiny jerk, I think. Despite me liking Mockingjay Part 2, that's one of the lesser parts of the movie. Um. So... Haven't seen Lily James and Cinderella. Let's see. I'm gonna go with Scarlett Johansson on this one because, once again, I haven't really seen much of the others. And Daisy Ridley, one of the only other options, I don't think did that great. The only strong actor in Force Awakens, I felt, was um, Han Solo. The guy who plays Han Solo. Now, we're going to the favorite book, for, I mean, favorite voice from an animated movie. Sandra Bullock from Minions as Scarlet Overkill. Selena Gomez as Mavis in Hotel Transylvania 2. Jennifer Lopez as Lucy from Home. Tristan Long as Alvin. Alvin and the Chipmunks the Road Chip. Jim Parsons from, as O from Home. And Amy Poehler as Joy from Inside Out. Amy Poehler, that's my pick. The people's pick? I don't know, but I think they're going to probably try going um, Selena Gomez or Jim Parsons. Selena Gomez, only because they recognize her from Jones of Waverly Place, if they were able to see that. So, that's the first five categories out of the way. Yes, this will be a longer video, by the way. And television, for favorite TV show. Austin and Alley, Girl Meets World, Henry Danger, Jesse, Lab Rats, and the Thundermans. How did you fail this bad? 
Look, I get that there's hardly any good live-action shows. Yeah, you picked some of the worst ones of them all. Except, with some exceptions. Here. Let's say, both Jesse and Austin Atley are horrible, knock them off. Labyrinth isn't that great either. I haven't seen it exactly so, but that's what I assume. Um, Thunderman's isn't very good. Henry Danger isn't very good. Girl Meets World is the most decent show out of these bat this batch. And that's only because I haven't seen it much yet. So yeah, that's favorite TV show. Oh, and I'm going to save the favorite cartoon until the end for this video. Favorite female TV star, kids show. Let's see, Dove Cameron from Liz and Maddie. Liv and Maddie, I meant. Lizzie Green from Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Um, Kira Asarin from The Thundermans. Laura Morano from Austin and Ellie. Debbie Ryan from Jesse and Zendaya from Casey Undercover. Oh boy, you really make me question what I'll be picking here because not many of these are good actresses. Um,. Just handed it to Debbie for previous work on Sweet Life on Deck and stuff like that. She's terrible now, but. So next up is favorite family TV show. And the options here are, wait, no. All the favorite male TV star from a kid's show next. Aiden Gallagher from Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Don. Jack Griffo from The Thundermans. Ross Lynch from Austin Valley. Chase Norman from Henry Danger. Casey Simpson. Nikki, Ricky, Nikki, and Don, and Tyrell Jackson Williams from the Lab Rats. I've told you I'm not a fan of the show The Thundermans. And I've stated previously, I actually like Jack Griffo as an actor. Yes, I think he's a pretty good actor compared to most of these guys, especially. So yeah, that's why I'm go going him for that. I mean, just because I don't like a show doesn't mean I, I have to not like any of the actors on it. Favorite female T or no, favorite family TV show, Agents of Shield, Big Bang Theory, The Flash, Modern Family, The Muppets, and Once Upon a Time. Modern Family for the win here, people. Yes, I am a huge Modern Family fan, as I watch The Middle, Goldberg's Modern Family, and Blackish. All four of those are on the roster of shows I watch. So yeah, that's why Modern Family is hopefully secure for the win here. Despite me kind of liking the Muppets, too. And now, favorite male TV star for a family show. Anthony Anderson from Blackish, Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang Theory. Grit Gustin from The Flash. Ben McKenzie from Gotham. Rico Rodriguez from Modern Family. And Jim Parsons from The Big Bang Theory. Hang on, just checking who the person from Blackish is, because I have seen the show. Um... Oh, the dad. Huh. Yeah. Um, let's say that Jim Parsons is probably going to win this, but Anthony and Rico, a mixture between those two would be my pick. And for favorite female act TV star in a family show, um, Chloe Bennett from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Kaylee Cook, who, uh, how do I pronounce your name, lady? Um, no, Cuoco, um, from The Big Bang Theory, Sarah Hyland from Modern Family, Jennifer Morrison from Once Upon a Time, Sophia Vergara from Modern Family, um, Ming Na Wen from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, the Modern Family people. That's how I'll describe and so, this time, we've dropped reality show, I think we had that like last year, and we have favorite talent competition, and the favorite cooking show. Now, since this is my raw first impressions, um, Amer we have America's Got Talent for favorite talent show, American Idol, 
Dance Moms, Dancing with the Stars, and The Voice. Okay, let's just get this right out of the way. I have not seen Dance Moms. I have no clue what it's about. Or, I don't know what it's about, actually, though. And it is not a talent competition show. It is a reality show. This is a reality show. It's crap TV always. This is a talent show. You occasionally get good moments. How do you not know the difference between the two, Nickelodeon? You nominate this show not knowing what it truly is. It's about it's about a dance competition team. That's what I've heard from kids in my grade. You put it in a talent competition. Yes, kids, sign up for Dance Moms. It's a it's a show that will allow you to show off your talent and win a million dollars. But I'm going to the voice here because I actually like that show. Favorite cooking show? Cake Boss, Cake Wars, Chopped Jr., um, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, H-E Double Hockey Sticks Kitchen, and yes, I'm very immature for saying that, but I can't swear. Even if I did, wouldn't count it for a swear, I don't, I just want to put all my cards on the table. And Master Chef Jr. Cake Boss, I've seen bits of that, and I actually uh, have a good time watching it. Also, but I would have put on Cutthroat Kitchen because it's a lot more fun to watch. I'm skipping a favorite cartoon because I'm actually happy about this one. In fact, I'll have a little... I'll go later on. Um, let's see, I'm just going to quickly do favorite male singer and favorite female singer. Just... For a quick pit stop there, but that's all I'll be doing for the music category, guys, so don't expect any more. Justin Bieber, Drake, Nick Jonas, Ed Sheeran, Blake Shelton, and The Weeknd. Ed Sheeran all the way here. He's an amazing singer, pal, guys. Amazing. And for favorite female singer, I'm going Adele fully on this. You have no clue. My mom has bought this 10-track Adele CD, and so I... I'm constantly listening to it in the in the car. So to wrap this all up before we get to my big thing, which will be a separate video actually, I've decided. We're going for favorite book and favorite video game. Favorite book. So two problems here. You have Harry Potter and the Hunger Games. On your favorite book. Those series have ended Nickelodeon. Learn the latest fads. Oh, but you do have the Maze Runner. Makes everything better. And favorite video game. There's Disney Infinity 3.0. Just Dance 2016. Minecraft Story Mode. Skylanders. Spongebob Hero Pants. And Super Mario Maker. I haven't played any of those people. Alright, thanks for watching my first KCA's video, and please watch my second one if you want for favorite cartoon, my thoughts on all the nominees and stuff like that. Because I'll have a lot more to say about this one because I actually think Nickelodeon got something right for once. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.